I'm in France in the Bergerac region and it's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day today. You can probably hear the birds. I have lavender right next to me. That's an olive tree behind me. And I'm at the chateau or the home of a dear friend of mine, Terry. This is Chateau Le Perral. And um, he's in a meeting right now. We've had a really great day filming. We went into his vineyards. You know, he's a seventh generation vinter. And um, I've had an incredible experience with the terroir, the soil, the climate, the environment, all, everything that he puts his energy into. And I thought it would be really interesting to sort of share a little bit with you the French philosophy, this concept of joie de vivre. And it's kind of ironic because I went in the kitchen to grab a glass of water and I came back with, um, to me, what the essence of joie de vivre is. Joie de vivre, joy of life, and it's this peach. Now this is a tiny little peach, and I'm gonna show you. This was the basket. I took it exactly as it was off of his kitchen counter, but here's a basket. You can see all the little tiny peaches. I actually don't know where they got these beautiful little miniature peaches. He's got a couple of other things in here. But this concept of joy of life, when you bite into a peach like this that is so delicious and so fresh, so juicy, and so filled with just pure nutrition, and even for people like us who are keto, you can eat a peach about this size. But, but, but seriously, this, this feeling of joy and understanding of, of life and appreciation of life is something that I, I think is very important for all of us who live in the US. And that's why I'm creating this little video for you because in France, there's this expression also that goes with joie de vivre, which is savoir vivre and that's to know life. And what is it like for us to know life? It's to have the appreciation for this peach. It's to enjoy this glass of wine that comes from his terroir. And, and what's interesting about this white wine is that he is able to make it without the sulfites. And we don't want those sulfites, right? We want all of the benefits, all of the deliciousness, all of the essence of this wine, but we don't want the other junk. And so how do we bring more of that into our day? And then there's also this concept of savoir faire. And savoir faire means to know how to know how to make something. So savoir faire is how to do things in a way that is reflective of the joy of life. So for example, when I greet you and I say bonjour, even if I don't know you, that's savoir faire. That's when we recognize and acknowledge each other and it gives us that sense of joy. And there are a hundred examples that an average person who may live in this country will express, but it's all with this underlying philosophy. So how many times, you know, in your day, and this is another, another moment, how many times in your day do you savor the moment? And what would that bring you? This is an oil. This is a perfect example of savoir faire, to know how to make and to know when to make and here's Terry coming. So we'll talk a little bit about that as well. Cuckoo! So this oil right here is pretty interesting. Oh, he's gone. Um, the wine grower recognizes, Terry recognizes the importance of the fact that you can extract from the seeds this beautiful oil and if you were to taste it, it's so pure, it's totally organic, and it's how you know how to use it, how you know how to make it, 
how important something like an oil that you cook with, an oil that you use on your skin, an oil that you ingest every single day. I mean, I think we recognize now more than ever the importance of the good fats. I've obsessively been learning about that for the past several years, and, and, and this is just a perfect example. So I wanted to share this with you because for me personally, I think about joie de vivre every single day. And what I mean by that is I'm, I'm thinking about how does that impact my life, right? Like when I wake up in the morning, I deal with anxiety, I deal with stress, I push back on a lot of the impacts of the life that we live in the US. It's easier in so many ways to live a more simple life, for example, here in the South. You know, I'm, I'm traveling with a number of friends right now. I have an intern here with us from the University of Bordeaux, for, excuse me, I have an intern here from the University of Florida who's traveling with us. And yeah, you come to France and you're like, I could do this. I could live here. This is easy. You don't have you know, a gazillion things happening all at once. But we live in the US and that's our life. So I want you to remember on a daily basis what it really is to have this joie de vivre, this understanding of your own joy inside of you and how you get that. And if it's from a good glass of wine, if it's from the depth of a relationship that you have in your life, if it's from an incredible peach, if it's from the work and the passion that you may have for your work, this is what matters, right? Because at the end of the day, our lives are so incredibly short. And to be able to embrace this feeling and experience it. I hope that this video does that for you and it's a very personal thing for me. I deeply believe it. I've wanted to share it with you for such a long time. I mean, it was a decade ago that I bit into a peach bigger than this before I was keto and um, wanted to bring that essence back to the US because I feel so much of the time that we have so many advantages but we're dealing with so many additional stresses and how do we really cope with those sort of things? How do we express ourselves? How do we live our best lives? How do we live a little bit better than we did the day before? And it can be as simple as just learning from the French philosophy. Savoir vivre. Know life. Life is not the world. Life is what's inside of each and every one of us, right? Savoir vivre know what that means, understand it, and then know how to also make your life. What matters to me is the experience that I have with my family. What matters to me is the quality of the food that I put into my body and the energy that I get from it. What matters to me is the quality of the thoughts that I have every day. If we have 60,000 plus thoughts in a day, and half of them are ruminating, or they're anxious, or they're sad, or whatever they may be. How does that, how does that make us feel? What does that do to our body? What does that do to our microbiome? These are the things that I think about, that I care about, that I just wanted to share with you on this beautiful afternoon in the Sauceignac region of France at my good friend Terry's home which is also his chateau for seven generations. And um, that's it. <laughs>